Rayla Odinga has been on the ballot five times already. And believe it or not, I am now fully convinced that Rayla will be on the ballot a record sixth time in 2027. And I'm not saying this lightly. There are several factors which are collectively giving Rayla a roadmap to 2027. The first factor is the fact that no one is currently backing Kalonzo other than his fellow Kamba leaders. I remember a little while back Uru Kenyatta left Kenya for the UK with his entire family and the moment he came back, the first place he visited was a church in Mwingi. And while in that church service, Uru Kenyatta only affirmed that he is still in Azimio, but he never ever endorsed Kalonzo Musioka's candidature, which is what he was seeking. He was hoping Uru will give him that air of legitimacy the moment he's back. However, in that same function, Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya did endorse Kalonzo Musioka's candidature. This was huge because it was the first major endorsement of Kalonzo Musioka by a leader who is not a Kamba. However, since then what has happened, that endorsement has been recanted. Just yesterday, Oparanya endorsed Raila for 2027 and took back what he said to Kalonzo Musioka. Just listening to this. Nafisi lengo letu katika ODM. Tunataka juwe na members milioni kumi. Kufikia mwezi wa ine. Na mwezi wa ine tutakuwa tunafanya uchakuzi wa chama tuwe na wale wanachama ambao watasaidia sisi kuenda 2027 na nyinyi mkifanya hii yote vile naona mmekuja kwa wingi mmekuja kwa wingi kabisa mkitasini kama ODM hii mambo tumetenga ati tume tumekubaliana Itakuwa inakwisha 2027. Ini Raila Molo Odinga aingia State House. Muna kubaliana na mimi Raila aingia State House. 2027. Sikaba na wa Mombasa amesema. Mume kubaliana na yeye. So all those who are supporting Kalonzo Musioka have pivoted from him and are now opting to bandwagon behind Raila Odinga. So that tells me Raila still has a chance in 2027. The second reason why Raila Odinga is still the man to beat and is likely to be the flag bearer in 2027 is the fact that President Ruto will outright endorse him. How so? The opposition does not have any power in determining who becomes president. However, the president has the power to cherry pick whom he wants to contest against in the ballot. I personally call this phenomenon conference of relevance through men. If Ruto decides to constantly talk about Raila, that breathes life into Raila's bid. And if President Ruto decides to talk about Kalonzo all day, day in, day out, that will equally breathe life into Kalonzo Musioka's presidential bid. So long story short, the president is now ignoring Kalonzo because he has seen Kalonzo is going nowhere, even within the opposition caucus. And his focus is now fully on Raila Odinga, simply because he's the only politician who President Ruto knows for a fact can arouse the boogeyman effect within Mlima Kenya faction, just as it's been historically proven. Because there are some regions where there is a bit of Raila phobia. It's been cultivated for years, and Ruto is tapping into that. He's saying, this is the best candidate for me. He knew it ahead of 2022, and if he does get to compete against Raila in 2027, it will be a walkover for him, and that is what he is praying and hoping for. There is no birthday gift you can give President Ruto that can defeat a Raila Odinga candidature. That is what he dreams of day in, day out. So you put those factors together, Raila Odinga is still the man to beat in 2027. The system is secretly endorsing him, his opponents are just too weak, and the crowd would love to see him try one more time. They believe that this time he'll be able to do it. But what say you? Do you think that Raila heading into the age of 80 will have enough strength and energy to take on a young William Ruto who is an incumbent? Remember, Ruto was unmanageable when he was deputy president. No one could manage him, not even the president. Uru tried to tell him off on podiums, thinking that that will uh, slow down President Ruto, then deputy president Ruto, sorry. But deputy president Ruto, what he did, he would respond wittily to the president. The president would send proxies in the likes of Kiraiko Tobiko and others to call Deputy President Ruto a clerk, Ruto would also dispense with them, either directly or through his proxies, the likes of Murkomen, Oscar Sudi, and others. So if Ruto was unmanageable when he was Deputy President, and he was still able to defeat his boss with all that machinery, then that is a man that you ought to be afraid of. If you read the Bible, King David was a very cunning leader, very, very cunning. He knew how to weave and maneuver out of situations. Ruto has that same capability. He is a cunning politician. He cherry-picked Raila for himself in the last election. He is now already conferring some relevance to Raila by constantly mentioning his name everywhere, here and there. And Raila is enjoying it. He does not know he's being prepared for the big slaughter. 
Ruto just wants one more easy victory and he's set for life. You know, once you're president, there's no other seat you aspire to. There's no other seat in the land greater than being president of Kenya. So it's almost like the 800 meter race and we're in that one last lap. The president wants an easy finish and he's been baiting Raila to keep up with him in that race. And finally, once the bell rings, Kivumbi. So <laughs> that's just my take though. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Do you think uh, President Ruto will have a hard, hard race against Raila Odinga? And is Raila even the best person for Ruto to compete against? Or is he just uh, an easy walkover? Because Kibaki made it against him, Uru made it against him, and Ruto made it against him. Will a second showdown yield different results? That much I don't know. I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. And in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching, from a different platform just head on over to youtube search for david Fuller, hit the subscribe button you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature if politics is something you're passionate about this is definitely the one channel that you really really need to subscribe to all right guys adios Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.